Cannery Row is one of the iconic tourist destinations along California's central coastline. A waterfront street in Monterey with restaurants, art galleries and a world-famous aquarium. Its roots go back to a once thriving Chinese fishing village over a century ago. Cannery Row has had an incredible connection with China um, in our history. Between the 19, 1850s and the 1900s, um, this was very much a Chinese fishing village and um, a major part of the culture here, both on Cannery Row and um, in Monterey as a city. In recent years, Monterey has become a major attraction for high-end international tourism, and the 2015 campaign by the Visitors Bureau has been attracting more tourists, particularly from China. The growth of Chinese business had been rapid and almost unexpected, and I could see uh, with pleasure our Chinese visitors enjoying this beautiful setting in a very vibrant and appreciative way. And it was like the lights were turned out. It was, you know, at, at the onset of the pandemic. Then suddenly we lost all of our Chinese visitation. Officials estimate the Big Sur community and Monterey County lost more than $1.8 billion in tourism revenue. The coronavirus pandemic has shown how much Monterey's tourism industry relies on international visitors. Many businesses we've spoken to here say that so far they've managed to stay afloat thanks to domestic tourism, but many of them emphasize that they can't wait to see a full resumption of international travel, particularly from China. Here at Monterey's famous Fisherman's Wharf, Chris Shake is the owner of a family restaurant going back five generations. A lot of the seafood delicacies they serve are geared toward Asian visitors. Chinese uh, tourists and Asian visitors uh, to America is very important. They um, come to our area and enjoy some of the best seafood that you can find in the world. And uh, we always look at that as being a high, higher ticket average per person. You know, for our, our company alone, um, we serve probably well over 100,000 Asian visitors a year, which means a little over $5 million in revenues just to our company alone. According to an estimate by the local Chamber of Commerce, each Chinese tourist on average spends around $6,000 per visit. Losing that along with the entire international travel for almost a year took a big hit. I would say the biggest impact has, has been felt in, in job losses. We've got probably over a thousand restaurants here, hundreds of hotels. All of those uh, businesses have dozens of staff people, if not hundreds. Sometimes up to 50 to 70 percent of those people got laid off. Uh, that's been the biggest impact that I've seen. Businesses are looking forward to a full reopening in the months ahead, but a recovery could take much longer. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Monterey, California.